is up, people. We got our big, honest review coming because you guys know how I feel about Knobrich products. This is the SSG24 bought as part of a collection. So, some awesome things that I did discover about this. It does shoot pretty well with four fives. I do have to dial the hop up in. But I did get four mags with it, which I have one loaded in now for the chrono test. And Novrich's scope is actually pretty good. And what I do like is the adjustment back here, how easy it is to adjust your gun to your size. Because the stock just actually unscrews and adjusts. Do a little bit at a time here. You guys can see it moving. And then the stock just slides in and out when you get your adjustment how you want it. It has a two-step trigger pull. So you can hold it down when you have a moving target, then go through with your fire. So if you guys can hear that, step one, step two. But as you see, it is the Novrich branded all the way around. So this will be my test if I actually like Navi Boy or not. I have always been against his products because I thought he was one of those that, oh, I'm famous on YouTube, I can rebrand products. Well, let's see if all his bragging of this SSG24, when he released them, was actually worth it or not. Okay, guys, as you see, we have the Bioshock .45s. Our chrono is set for four fives. So what we're going to do, we're going to bust two rounds to three rounds through this just to see what we get. All right. Three fifty six point eight at two point six six joules. Two twenty nine at one point one joules, which we all know that isn't true at all. It's the way I had the chrono. And three fifty four point two at two point six two joules. Okay, some fun little features here. This will be replaced because this is the orange flash hider. So you just unscrew this. Sorry, my light's kind of like flashing a little bit. So you remove that. You can get the replacement thread adapter for inside. It is threaded. So when you want to replace that, you can also add your suppressor to it to give it a little bit more silent thing i'm just gonna leave that off for a minute until i can one-on-one -on -one it this scope does have different adjustments all the way around i think it's up to nine and then you have your front here and mine does have the kill flash on the front to get rid of that lens glare when i'm up in the woods and say i was to scope out somebody my lens would not flash typically if a light hits it so that is the two key features I do like. His mags, I will show you, are designed very well. And you can get these little attachments for the mags, which mine came with one, that just slide over for your speed loader to make it easy to load. I don't have BBs in it, but just as a demonstration, you just place that there, and then you would pump those in. So that's another cool feature I do like. So, we're already three positives. I don't have a negative yet, other than the bolt does kind of take some pull pressure to get back. So, you would have to actually move a lot if you were in a ghillie suit. So, what we are going to do now, we are going to get actual pants on and stuff because it's cold here in Ohio and do a shoot test. I will have to mess with the hop up a little bit before I do the shoot test. Make sure I dial it in to the four fives because it was shooting four O's out of it and was hop for that. So we will check that out. I will mount the run cam on the uh, run cam mount up here. Of course, I have to tape it because I broke my mount on the field. It got shot, so then hold together. But I will be back to you guys in a minute with the shoot test at our barrel. Okay. 
Okay, so here we go. We're going to do the shoot test. As you guys can tell, I got the GoPro set up just in case the run cam does not get the footage. Here we go. I got the hop up dialed in just a little bit. Ugh. Oh man, I wanted to hate this gun so bad. Every time it dings, my heart is breaking. And his scope is so accurate. Just little adjustments. I'm going freestyle one, so then you guys can see it even in the GoPro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll give it two more. And then we'll finish off the mag for the slow-mo. Oh, we have a miss that win. <laughs> SSG 24 and still a hit even aimed low oh BB shattered and still hit so like I said I did want to do an honest review so I will be honest this gun is actually pretty sick um, it does disassemble quick three screws which are here, here, and then up here by the sling point. Quick change spring, all the goodies that you could get. But by the shooting footage, I only missed one. I don't know how old these BBs are. A couple did shatter. They're four or five bio, bio shot. Leave nothing behind other than pieces when they break. So I don't know about these, but the gun itself, it did really, really well. So in my honest words, would I buy... A brand new SSG, probably, because this thing is dead on the money. Like, looking through the scope, seeing that target hit, it did great. It was a little windy, so the BBs did have a slight curb, but it's doable. I, I was able to work that out with the scope, but everywhere I put my scope, the BB was, until the wind started to blow. So, Novrich, bro, you've earned it. Good job on your custom builds. Next, I'm going to try the SSP and see what the buzz is about. See if they're as good as the TM, if not better. So, great job on this. And if you guys need a good sniper out of the box, that does good. As you've seen by the chrono, the shoot test, I cannot say anything negative other than the bolt pull is a little strong at first. But once you get the fill for it, I use the BSR-10, which is actually down here because the Novrich goes on the rack so i will be using this gun in upcoming videos i hope you guys enjoy i will be getting a custom ghillie wrap built for it but all in all Novrich, great guns and this one is a second hand one because i did not want to purchase one and then hate it i wanted to hate this gun as you guys can see I'm, i i just can't i will be honest that is the most honest review I can do for the SSG-24. A beautiful gun. It's built really well. You can still buy modded parts for it. Upgrades. You can buy the springs. I believe he still does have several stocks on Novrich.com. But all in all, it's a great gun. So until next time, guys, I'll see you on the field.